My mom has always really wanted me to learn to make really good roti and curry, so I'm hoping that the place that I'm going to today can help me out. It's called Gandhi Indian Cuisine, and I can already smell the spices from a block away. This roti spot has been around for 23 years, and I find this one to be a special treat for me because a lot of the roti shops on this one street are West Indian, and this one is East Indian, and it's something that I don't get a lot of very often. And what I really, really love about this place is that they adjust everything to your spice level. So they make everything per order. So it's not like they have a big pot of butter chicken ready to go or a big pot of sag paneer. They make everything per order and that, that way they can adjust your spice levels. This butter chicken roti was by far my favorite. And I think that's just a general thing for me. Butter chicken is always going to be my favorite thing. So this one I've decided to get a medium spice level. A lot of the times butter chicken is incredibly mild, but this one had a little bit of spice and I really, really enjoyed that extra kick. Then we have the chicken tikka masala. This one in general is a lot spicier than the butter chicken and you can tell by the color itself. It's a lot more red, so there's a lot more spices in there. So you have your chicken breast, you have your potatoes. And then if you're a vegetarian, I got their sog paneer. This is one of their best sellers. So it's nice and creamy, there's spinach in there, there's the paneer, a very uh, messy thing to eat. I don't know if it's just the way that I eat it, but I find it to be pretty messy. But the way that they serve it here is uh, really nice. So they package it in this tin foil tray, they wrap everything nicely together for you, and when they serve it to you, you cut into it with a knife and fork, all the curry spill out, and then you eat it with your knife and fork. And this saves your clothes. Uh, <laughs> If you're eating it with your hands and everything's dripping all over the place and you get a curry stain on your shirt, good luck getting that out. It's very difficult. 